I've been hunting elk in Oregon for a month, then tar here in New Zealand for a few weeks before I finally set my sights on the West Coast chamois. This time I decided to cheat a little and I had the helicopter drop me into a spot that I'd been recommended. There we go. Alone and freaking nowhere. That just saved me freaking 10 hours of walking I'd say. Probably couldn't even freaking get in here. Look at this magic bit of country, eh? Just blue river, tracks of deer right there. Hunting all up in there, hunting up the creek, hunting down the creek, freaking hell. And that's my gear for the next couple of days. Good thing I didn't forget the bow. Food for ages. Beautiful. This is so weird, eh? So weird just being dropped off and I'm not used to the shit, eh? I'm used to being naked when I get to this point, but now I'm just fresh. I've got food. Get to set up camp and... Uh, <laughs> Freaking just go hunting. How crazy is this, man? Uh, too easy. Actually, too easy. and see if I can see anything below me that might come out on the flats. Had quite a bit of rain coming down just now. Freaking just changed. Full sunshine, now rain. I've made my way down the river. And um, wind is starting to come up now. So we're gonna sneak our way down into that flat right there. And we're just gonna take it real slow. We're gonna sit back because that's about you know, the best spot that I'll be able to hunt for the next couple of days, so. Ah, uh, these past two months, I can almost full on hunting. <clears throat> I can feel that they're starting to take its toll on me. You know, freaking just going all the time from trip to trip to trip and, uh, I just don't want to be in this place because it's, it's too tight for that long, it's too tight, there's not many flats to hunt and uh, I've got other places to hunt that's, that's better than where I'm at now so I don't want to waste my time in here but I do want to freaking get a shot at it so. Righto, once again I'm getting ready to go down the flat, seen one shimmy there last night and I spooked her probably we've probably seen each other at the same time and so the chamois there but it's hard going in there because it's so thick and then it just opens up and it's all clear but I think I've found a good spot to sit so we're going to go in and sit for a couple of hours and we're going to go back out and get some lunch and go back in and sit down and maybe sneak through it tonight and uh, yeah we'll see what happens because it's a tiny place so can't really walk around it too much. Bama.
I could, I could just see it happen then. So close. Fuck. It was a one horn buck. Big fella. He was tall, man. Fuck. I snuck out on the flat and I freaking just real slow. And all of a sudden, he was just looking at me. I was looking at him. He heard something, but I was in the shadows, right in the freaking scrub, and he was out in the open feeding. And then looked at me for a minute, started feeding again, and then I backed off a bit, sat down, got the bow ready, freaking just waited for 10 minutes or something. But he just wouldn't come in broadside. He was behind a bush and didn't come out. And it was so close, freaking wind turned. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> I thought I had him. I freaking thought I had him. Man, that's the way she goes. Now my head is fucked. You know, so tense for that long. You know, I gotta pee. <laughs> that's why I'm tripping. So, fuck. I gotta get in there. Freaking sit down and wait. Might have a cup of coffee just to stay fresh because this is, you know, this just thrashes your head, eh? You're just done after something like that. So, anyway, it's been good getting into the shin. So, give it another crack. This is a joke, you know what?
freaking did it. I've been struggling past a couple of days on this shiny, eh? Not even, it's not spot and stalk, it's stalk and spot, which is really hard. you got to be ready all the time, but my head is completely f***ed, eh? I'm so happy right now. Such a relief. That's all that's left now. Everything else is packed down. She's pretty heavy now, and it's starting to give out a bit of a drizzle. Whoa, finally done. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, that's us. Ain't pretty, but it's all there. <laughs> as sure as hell. Beats legging it for 10 hours. It's gonna be so good getting in that chopper, freaking eating chips. <laughs> I am not used to this stuff. I'm just not used to it. All the meat on the bone. Oh, I love it, eh? Thanks for taking along. Been a pleasure. Been good talking to the camera. You know, not feeling alone. See you next time. <laughs>